the end of my career. Uh, my, my job was sending young kids to prison for a lifetime and you didn't really feel like you were making things better and so that's why uh, uh, I, I, I thought I could take a place and, and turn some young people's lives around and uh, make a positive influence rather than just locking people up. The property laid here dormant for about 20-25 years and it was basically a dump site for the county and so uh, I kept trying to resurrect the property and start a program here so I worked with a member of the Board of Supervisors and we were able to convince them to give me a, a shot at taking over the property and, and resurrect it as we did. We didn't have anybody to run it and so uh, that's when I, I stepped off the bench and retired to come and run it. He said, you know, I, um, I'm getting close to retirement, I'm really going to open up this ranch and, you know, I thought, oh, this isn't what my dream of retirement was. But then I came up here and uh, you just can't help but get hooked once you come up. And of course, it wasn't anything like you see it today. Everybody said we couldn't do it. My own feasibility study said it was impossible, uh, but it was all the businesses and the agriculture, uh, but a, a lot of the construction business that came and donated uh, their time and their labor and their money to, to turn this place around. So we ran it on a shoestring for uh, three or four years. It's kind of a unique campus. Uh, I, I don't think there's anything quite like it anywhere in California or the United States for that matter. It's a private-public partnership. We partner with uh, the county in a m many of things, probation, behavioral health, uh, uh, county education. The thing that makes this place so unusual is uh, it, we're providing a safe environment to to these young people where they can explore the things they haven't had the opportunity to explore. We have art programs, we get music programs, we explore the outdoors, uh, we take them over to the, um, the aquarium. We want them to, to entertain those things and see the possibilities that exist for them in, uh, uh, in life here. I was president of two uh, professional chefs organizations and involved with Bert Cotino, who is the co-founder of Rancho Cielo. So he involved me in the planning process of building the culinary school. When we first came up here, it had been a kitchen at one time, but certainly not a uh, work of art that it is now. Um, it came together through a lot of different people. Bert Cotino from the Sardine Factory was very instrumental. Donations, uh, like everything up here. And just to see it go from basically the ground up and to see these kids, you, know, you talk about interacting with the kids, uh, they serve you, they cook for you, they have to talk to you. Um, it, it's a wonderful experience for them and, and we meet people up here and it's sometimes it's someone's first experience and it's a wonderful experience. Rancho Cielo is a breeding ground for excellence in young adults and the Drummond Culinary Academy is one section that these fortunate individuals will sharpen their skill under Chef Paul Lee. We are open to the public, reservations only every Friday night, and the students cook, they prepare, they serve, they work in the dining room, they learn how to, uh, how to cook a steak correctly, how to cook a salmon correctly, and then how to plate it correctly, so that when it comes out to the dining room, the customers, before they even taste it, they look at it, and they, most of them want to take a picture of it. We have dinners up here on Friday nights and that's where a lot of the people of the peninsula get to know us and they come up here for, I, I think uh, we're number one on TripAdvisor uh, for the Salinas area and we, we make some great dinners. I'm from Salinas, California and I kind of got into a bread hab with school, like I was doing really, really bad and I got put on truancy probation and my truancy probation officer helped me get into here for my love, because I have a love for cooking, like I really love to cook. Um, I was born here in Salinas, California and I um, actually had a stepfather who works at NPCC and was a chef out there, so that's what kind of inspired me to come out here also as well. The process of getting in here was pretty, it was nice. We came in here and they had a bunch of tables set up and they asked us like simple questions and they wanted to make sure you know we're not here just to mess around because they're looking for serious kids. If a young person comes in and says, um, I don't want to come here, I don't want to try, I don't want to try to change, uh, we won't take them. And they, they, they got to come back later and say, well, I, I, I want a chance to change and uh, I'm willing to come and obey the rules. They want someone that's going to be like, you know, I'm here, I'm ready to work. They have a lot of expectations for us. A lot of them have never been told, hey, good job. A lot of them have been told they've 
done things wrong a lot of their lives. And so I teach them the skill. I show them how to do it. They do it. They do it well. I pat them on the back. I give them motivation. I tell them that they own that skill and that I expect them to do that skill every time. Chef Paul is like, he's my mentor right now. I personally, I love to cook, but I'm more of a baker. And he's like really like showing me more the technical part of baking. Making sure you get the right ingredients and you know measurements, putting it all together. Whipping the sugar and the butter more and he's a really, really, really good teacher. He doesn't like he doesn't get mad when you mess up. He's like, You're learning right now, I understand, you know, you're gonna mess up sometimes. We've had many customers and you can go on TripAdvisor and read the comments from many customers. Uh, that they enjoy the food here just as much as any restaurant in, on the Monterey Peninsula. Uh, the chance to get a job and to be employed is, is huge to many of these young people. Many of them go on uh, to junior college, go on to college. Uh, many of them are getting jobs and so uh, when you give them the opportunity and start instilling some self-esteem in them that they didn't have before, you see them do great things and so we, we have uh, great success. We're one of the few things that's really working uh, in turning these young people who are heading the wrong way uh, the right way. I hope it continues as it is now. Uh, you know, John and I aren't going to live forever, uh, but the people in the community, again, have been so supportive of it. I want it to continue. I want kids to continue to move forward, to leave here, to have better lives, a chance at uh, experience more in life. Uh, I see myself working as a personal chef or at a country club. Hopefully in a year from now when I graduate from here, I want to work at the Monterey Plaza Hotel. A call from a student from a year or two ago and hear that they're doing well at another school. And, and when the chefs from those places call me and say, hey, your student is doing great, it just makes my day.